Uh, Varsha, tell me about yourself. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. My name is Varsha. I am from Ongol, Andhra Pradesh. I completed my graduation in the stream of computer science and engineering at RK College of Engineering in the year 2023. My goal is to get a good job in reputed companies, contribute my knowledge and skills for the development of the organization. And I do gardening in my leisure time for relaxation. Coming to my family background, my father is a farmer and my mother is a homemaker mm -hmm. and I have two siblings. Okay. So, I mean, you are from CSE background, right? Yes. Okay. Just explain about your academic project. Academic project. Yes. My project name is Missing Child Identification. Our project is used to identify missing child from reported missing cases with the help of face recognition. Mm -hmm. Our project uses deep learning methodology. Mm -hmm. Whenever a child is missed, his or her parents will report a file, will file a case. So the officials will put his or her photo in the in a portal and public should be aware of, of this. And whenever they find some suspicious situations, they should voluntarily take photos and place them in, upload them in the portal along with the details where they have found. So now internally what happens is the photo public uploaded will be compared with the photos which are present in the database uploaded by the officials. Understood. Here uh, how it happens is our project uses CNN convolutional neural networks. So from the image we have uploaded it extracts some face descriptors it attracts some face descriptors like which are very clear like shape of the eye shape of the nose and all those features will be combined and into a face with the and child recognition will be done with the help of SVM which is support vector machine we have trained our project with multiple images so it gives accurate results okay you tested with the, okay yes. uh, what is your role in that project uh, team lead team lead okay very good what are different concepts you have used here from Python side? From Python side, uh, we have used multiple libraries like um, TensorFlow, Keras, PyTorch. All these are useful to process I mean, images or objects with, with the neural networks only. And some are used pandas like uh, storing all the data in the database. They are used. Okay. Okay. Very good. So, how much you rate yourself in Python out of 5? 3 to 4. Okay. Good. What about MySQL? How much you rate yourself in MySQL? 3. Three. Oh, good. So, can you explain about joins, man? Joins. What is the purpose of joins? Joins are used to extract some columns from two or more tables based on some common columns, some mm -hmm. common criteria. We'll extract some data for our use. Okay. Man. How many, I mean, how many types are joins are there? There are four types of joins. Inner join, outer join, there are two left outer join, in right outer join, self join and cross join. Okay. 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 So what is the difference between rank and dense rank? Madam? Rank and dense rank. When we use rank, if there are two numbers or three numbers, if there is duplicate, uh, if two members get the same rank, next sequence will be skipped. But when we use dense rank, it will give proper sequence of okay. rank. So, can you explain abstraction? Abstraction? Abstraction means hiding implementation process from outside world, only showing necessary details for the client. Correct. Okay, very good. How will you achieve abstraction in Python? In Python, we hmm. use ABC module. From that ABC module, we import ABC class and ABC uh, abstract method decorator so that we can achieve abstraction. Okay, okay, very good. Uh, what about factory method in the object? Factory method, method is used to create uh, objects in a, for a class. It is a class method. We can generate as many objects as we want. Okay, okay. I'm just coming to the Django, madam. You are comfortable with Django, right? Okay. So what do you mean of MVT architecture? MVT architecture means so. MVT means model view template. It is a design pattern which is used by Django. In model, a database related code will be in model. Business logic will be in views. Template means uh, HTML code will be in um, okay. templates. Okay. What is the use of settings file in the uh, Django application? 
settings files in order to generate a project project or file we first need to put whatever the app we are created we should put in settings installed apps and we have middleways in settings which are very useful to check whether the user is authorized or not uh, with having uh, this having session uh, csr of token session middleways which are used to check whether the user is proper user or not and then we have static uh, which is used to put some di uh, directory like we are providing path in which path we are static using. files static okay. files database is if you want to connect with the database we should put all the details of database we want to connect in the settings on very good what do you mean of sessions man sessions it is a temporary memory in the server side if it usually stores information which is related to request only okay okay man that's it thank you